In the unified 21 local government areas of Anambra State, the chairman, local government's the miscommission, Honorable Barrister Vin Ifani Izaka, while addressing the management and principal officers in the commission chamber, stated that the decision is to create a culture of responsibility and accountability in local government service delivery, with the ultimate goal of enhancing staff performance for improved productivity. The LGSC boss restated his commitment to transform the local government system into a result-driven and problem-solving organization capable to stand shoulder to shoulder with other ministries, departments and agencies, MDAs. Chief Honorable Barrister Vane Ifani Ezaka for the revealed that as a firm believer in the strategic importance of local governments in the development and the grassroots and local economy, he shall continue to superintend all necessary reforms to reinvigorate the SY Murray Bound Council system into a thriving economic powerhouse in the productive sector of Anambra State. He therefore charged the 21 council authorities to nominate three staff each to be trained as seven VEX officers. Former Deputy Governor of Anambra State, Chief Emeka Sibudo, has said that though the Governor Chuku, through the Governor Chukuma's Ludo administration, even though it's still young, has been consistent in ensuring the developmental projects spring up in the state. Speaking with correspondent Joseph Ebocha in Omunze, Rumba South Kelsey area, Chief Sibudu expressed delights that the Saludo administration is improving on what were done by his predecessors, while following new trends in governance as expected in any generative section. The reports. Sibudu called for continued support to the governor to enable him sustain developmental strides in the state, while urging Apuka party members to be ready to be the last man standing in the party. Chief Sibudu maintained that Apuka is very useful to Ndibo in the Nigerian political space. He recalled how Apuka's lone voice in the then Nigerian Governor's Forum changed what would have been an unfavorable decision against Indianambra, adding that there is need to retain and expand Apuka beyond present limits in order to make it a force to reckon with in the Nigerian political space. We have seen a lot of uh, transformation. We are happy that the current administration is improving on what the older ones have done. So the current government needs the support of everyone to continue to lift our number to the great That is what we are praying for, asking everybody to put our hands should be on them to take our state to greater health, better than what it is to be. From Umunze in Urumba South Local Government Area, Joseph Ebocha reporting for ABS News. Nigeria's major challenge is psychological and just one good people oriented policy could change the trajectory of our development, reduce incidents of substance abuse, disorders, and address the rising cases of mental health challenges in the country. This was the aggregate of views of speakers at a continuing education and training workshop organized by the National Association of Clinical Psychologists, NAP. For their members in Oka, David Bokwasili, our correspondent, has to report. Shop hosted by the Department of Psychology, Lambda Zikiwe University Oka has as team psychological assessment and management of substance use disorder. The two-day workshop, which is carried out physically and virtually, sought to update members' knowledge and capacity on issues concerning substance use disorder assessment and management and other new and topical issues and tools in clinical psychology, such as cognitive behavioral therapy, addiction severity index, screening tests, and motivational interviewing. Leading the discussion with a look at the overview of substance use disorder in Nigeria, the National President, National Association of Clinical Psychologists, Professor Emmanuel Abikoye, said a careful policy direction that will prioritize the needs of Nigerians will be the first step in addressing the rising cases of mental health challenges in the society and reduce the tendency to resort to substance use and abuse to cope with unhealthy situations. Professor Abikoye also urged President Bola Tinibu to sign into law the Nigerian Council of Psychologist Establishment Bill saying when operational, the law will help Nigerians seeking psychological services to have easy and affordable access to quality and professional help. Over 50 persons have been arrested and tried for the Fulton and Umbra State environmental laws. The defaulters were arrested and tried at Magistrate Court, Oka, and other mobile courts seating in different parts of Oka during a statewide monthly sanitation exercise for the month of June. ABS environment correspondent Blessed Nuchendo reports that those found guilty were either fined or mandated to perform community service or do votes. Her reports. 
workshop hosted by the Department of Psychology, Lambda Zikiwe University Oka has as team psychological assessment and management of substance use disorder. The two day remarkable as enforcement was intensified in many parts of the state and major markets, parks and shopping malls. Speaking to the ABS, the Commissioner for Environment, Engineer Felix Odimegu, represented by the Director of Environment and Ecology, Ministry of Environment, Mr. Joseph Edochie, urged a number of residents to support the campaign for clean, green and livable states by always cleaning up their surroundings and paying adequate attention to the environment. Engineer Odimegu restated government's directive that residents must embark on sanitation exercise between 7 and 10 o'clock in the morning every last Saturday of the month but regretted that most people do not participate in the exercise. He therefore made it clear that henceforth local authorities will apply all necessary measures to ensure full compliance. People should imbibe with the culture of cleanliness, hygiene, sanitation. This is what they should have in their mind. Our people are known for cleanliness. The Igbo people are known for cleanliness. The number are known for cleanliness. We have to go back to the value of cleanliness. On his part, the managing director of Anambra State Waste Management Authority, Aswama, Mr. Mike Ozemena, who monitored the exercise, said that Governor Soludo is committed to healthy and clean Anambra environment, but regretted low compliance and called on India Anambra to imbibe the habit of healthy living and also adhere to government instructions. Cleanliness is just a problem. You know, but uh, it seems that people they need a little for some level. We are trying to I don't know, I don't know. put some kind of constant rules so that uh, since our people need for us, they will get the food and then they will get more food and get the job. Too much. Speaking further, the Transition Committee Chairman of Oka South Local Government Area, Mr. Tangod Anago, said that the council, with the support of the state government, is committed to enforcing the sanitation laws and asked residents to either key into the sanitation exercise or face the full wrath of the law. That's why there's a new vigor in us and there's a new trend we're bringing in. If you don't come out to clean your this, your marketplace, stay in your house and clean your house. If you fail to do both and you come out on the road to disturb others, we'll pick you. The residents of Anambra should not wait to be compelled to do sanitation. Health is wealth. They should have to keep the environment clean. Some residents who joined in the sanitation, including Messrs. Arize Chuguchibogo and Ike Chukweze, commended the state government for its efforts at cleaning up the states, urging other residents to complement government's efforts by keeping their surroundings clean. A defaulter who gave her name as Ms. Choma Wafo pleaded for more sensitization, which, according to her, will help more people comply. In Oka, Blessing Uchendo, ABS News. The Joint Admissions and Matriculation Examination said that it is planning to bring your own device initiative for the Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examinations and the Direct Entry Examinations. The Register of the Board, Professor Isha Goloide, made this known during the 2023 policy meeting ongoing in Abuja at the National Judicial Institute. According to Oloye Day, the initiative is such that it would allow a candidate to take the examinations on their mobile phones. The jam boss noted that the board has continued to spend huge amounts of money on the conduct of examinations, hence the need for the initiative. In the presentation unveiled by Oloye Day, the board said on the way forward, we're looking at the direction for jam students to bring their telephones. It lowers capital investment, but it is not helpful for digital literacy. There will be the establishment of a mobile examination malpractice tribunal to deal with the criminal aspects while institutions handle the misconduct. Yevgeny Prigozhin, the head of the Russian military contractor Wagner Group, has rejected accusation of treason by President Vladimir Putin after his troops crossed from Ukraine into the Russian border city of Rostov and Don, vowing to fight anyone who try to stop them. Prigozhin posted an audio message on the social media app Telegram today, claiming his forces are taking control of military facilities in the city, including the airfield. Videos and pictures posted online showed our men surrounding administrative buildings in Rostov and tanks deployed in the city center. Chelsea have agreed to a 35 million euro deal for the signing of a 22-year-old Villarreal forward, Nicholas Johnson. According to Fabrizio Romano, while there was a lot of interest in the Villarreal forward, 
The Blues have managed to win the race to sign Jackson. The 22-year forward is all set to join the London club ahead of next season. Jackson has come through the ranks at Villarreal. He was promoted to their first team ahead of the 2022-23 to season. And he has money to make quite a name for himself on the back of impressive performances in the very first full season in the Spanish top flight. The 22-year-old was involved in a total of 38 matches and was on the pitch for over 2,100 minutes. Jackson managed to find the back of the net on 13 occasions and also contributed with five assists in his debut season in the top flight. Remember that you can follow news and program on ABS in many parts of the world by liking our Facebook page. Follow us at ABS Radio Television. Subscribe to our YouTube page at ABS Television. Or call follow us on Twitter at ABS Radio TV and on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. You can also log on to our website at www.absradiotv.com. To end the news this morning, a recap of the main points. NPHCDA has held a review meeting of Southeast traditional rulers in Orca. Anambra Local Government Service Commission is to introduce civilian desk officers in council areas. Jambas Planning is making plan on use of mobile phones for UTME DE. Russia's military contractor, Prozin, has rejected Putin's accusations of treason. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anbra State economy and promotion of coeval values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. And that ends the breakfast news at this time on ABS television. Thanks for watching. I am Friska Mungo. Good morning and happy Sunday.